Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall discuss how to edit host file in Windows. This host file is a local file that contains domain names and their matching IP addresses. Now it's found in all common operating systems and it acts as a map identifying and locating host on IP networks. And every time you visit a website, your computer will first check the host file to see which IP address it connects to. Let's say you want to open up Facebook, so you will type www.facebook.com in the browser. Then your browser is going to check the host file to see if there is an IP address for the domain facebook.com. If it is there, then it will open up directly from using the IP address present in the host file. If it is not present there, then your internet service provider will look into the DNS for the resources to load the site. Now there are many usage of modifying the host file. You can block a domain or a website using your host file. So without any further ado, let's see how we can edit the host files. Now if you have this PC icon on your computer, you can open it or if you don't have that icon, you can click on the Windows Explorer or the File Explorer. Just open it up and then you have to click on this PC. Then from here, you have to open your C drive. Coming inside the C drive, we have to look for this Windows folder. Under the Windows folder, we have to look for System32 folder. This is the one, so just open it. Then after that, we have to look for Drivers folder. And this is the one. Inside Drivers, we have to open this folder that is etc. And now you can see we have this host file that we have to open up. Now editing this host file is very trivial. If you want to open this host file, you can just directly right click on it and then click on open with and click on notepad. It is going to open up like this, but you will not be able to edit it. Now to edit the host file, we have to open the notepad into administrator mode. So I'll just close this for now and uh, just hit your windows key and then type notepad then right click on your notepad and then click on run as administrator now notepad is running in administrator mode now what you can do is you can copy this path this entire path which was leading up to host file you can copy this just click on this address bar and then you can right click on it and copy the path so just copy it and then you can open your notepad and then click on file then click on open and then here you can click on this address bar and then you can paste the path that you have copied all right now after that you have to click here which says text document just click on this and then you have to select all files then after that you will be able to see all the files that are present in the etc folder now click on host and then click on open now the host files have opened up in notepad with administrator privileges now we will be able to edit the host file now let's see how we can add or edit the entries here so first of all anything which is starting with the hash symbol is an example or a comment it will not be read by your computer so let's add one entry for facebook i'll just try to block the facebook now i will just write 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and then space www.facebook.com now to save this file you just have to click on file and then click on save and it will be saved then you can open your browser and then just type facebook and then try to open it and you will get a response like this this site cannot be reached because we have blocked it using host file now if you want to remove this block then you can just add a hash symbol here and then your entry will be treated as a comment and it will not be read by your machine just save the host file and then now if you just refresh your browser your facebook is going to load up like this so that's how we edit the host files in windows and also 
it's a good practice when you are making an entry in the host file you should always leave a comment at the end so that you can remember what you have done so this is one entry this is the IP address that I have given to facebook.com so whenever I try to open this website in the browser the browser is going to look for the IP address for this website and in the host file it will find this IP address which is not valid and hence nothing is going to open up so that's all for this video I hope you were able to understand how to edit the host file and how to block any domain or subdomain so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching